much news to get through today and I cannot wait. You've got Tania Taylor with you right here on MTV. Apple have just released iOS 10, its biggest ever update. There are lots of exciting new changes, but iMessage in particular could be the most popular. As if annoying your mates with the poo or crying face emojis weren't enough, you can now send GIFs, stickers, and play about with the new feature, Digital Touch. Apple Music has also received a visual change with larger black font and simplified navigation. The company has redesigned maps to show you nearby restaurant suggestions, traffic information, and even the ability to find your own car. Defo think I need that. Overall, I'd say we are pretty happy with the update, and if anybody needs me, I'll be sending fireballs to my boss, as you do. America's golden girl Simone Biles has become the latest victim of a hacking scandal. The world's anti-doping agency was hacked by a Russian cyber group known as Fancy Bear. They illegally broke into its database and obtained private medical records from some of America's biggest athletes. Venus and Serena Williams were both victims and files show that they were exempt from using banned drugs. Simone took to Twitter writing, I have ADHD and I've taken medicine for it since I was a kid. Please know I believe in clean sport, have always followed the rules and will continue to do so as fair play is critical to sport and it's very important to me. The gymnast took home four gold medals and a bronze at this year's Rio Olympics, so she must be doing something, right? We caught up with YouTube star KSI about his online rise to fame and his top tips on how to get into the music industry. I say the best way is to try and uh, kiss a lot of ass. Uh, that gets you quite far. Just kidding. On a real, best way to get into music, just do it. Like, learn instruments and stuff. I don't know. Because <laughs> the way I got into music is through YouTube. So I feel like I've kind of done it a different way to how most people do it. If you enjoy doing music, just do music. And eventually, like, people will just catch on. Not much stops Kanye West from performing, but when a fan attempted to climb onto his floating stage, he couldn't help but intervene. During his St. Pablo tour in Atlanta, one fan felt the music a little bit too much and wanted to jump on stage with the rapper, which obviously annoyed Kanye as he told the fan to back down. The man was later seen falling back into the crowd. We're not sure on how he landed, but we hope it was a safe one. Kanye will conclude his St. Pablo tour on November the 21st in LA. That's all today's news on MTV. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to know more about me, then follow on your socials. It's at Tania Taylor.